Hello, boys and girls. This is going to be our first read aloud for the year. It's a story called Dragon Ling by Jackie French Kohler. And we are able to read these books aloud to you because we are in a very special time considering the coronavirus and you cannot come into the school. Otherwise, I wouldn't have permission to read this book to you in a video like this. To Devin, because dragons are his second favorite animal next to dogs. Chapter one. Derek awoke at the first light of dawn. He sat up quickly and pushed his bed curtains aside. Through his window, he could see the soft violet rays of the morning sun just touching the tips of the yellow mountains of ore. His brother, Klepp, was up there somewhere, probably breaking camp, getting ready for the day's hunt. It wasn't fair, Derek thought. Why did he have to wait three more years before his first dragon quest? So what if Klepp was 12 and he was only nine? He was nearly as tall and strong as Klepp. Three more years. It seemed like forever. Derek, Derek, are you up? It was his mother's voice from the kitchen below. I'm coming. Derek called back. He got dressed and clattered down the stairs. His mother was bent over the hearth, spooning porridge into his bowl. Derek slid into his place at the table. Do you think maybe the men will be home today? He asked. His mother's brow wrinkled with worry as she served him his breakfast. Who knows how long they will be gone, she said. 10 days, 20, a dragon quest ends when it ends. I can't wait until it's my turn, Derek said eagerly. I will be the one to make the kill. I will win the claws to wear around my neck. I will be the marksman like father. Derek's mother shook her head and turned back to the fire. Why are you so silent, mother? Derek asked. Why don't you get excited about the dragon quest like everyone else? My brother was killed on his first dragon quest, said Derek's mother quietly. Many have been killed on the dragon quests, said Derek, but they are heroes. You should be proud. Derek's mother sighed. In the old days, she said, when the dragons were plentiful, when they threatened the village and raided the yuke herds, that was the time for heroes. Now the dragons are few and they keep to the mountains. Why should we send young boys into their midst? They are not boys, said Derek. They are men and they must face a dragon to prove it. There are other ways to prove you are a man, said Derek's mother. Well, what are they then, asked Derek. Doing your work with pride, caring for others, and thinking your own thoughts are good ways, said Derek's mother. Bah, said Derek. Anyone can do those things, but only a man can slay a dragon. There was a sudden, loud clinging, and Derek's mother's head jerked up. The men returned, she said. Derek and his mother ran to the village square. The hunting party was threading its way down through the mountain pass, pulling a great wagon. Upon it lay a hulking mound. A blue, shouted Derek. It's a great blue. Great blues were the largest and fiercest of all dragons. Derek could hardly contain his excitement as he raced to the meet the party. But as he drew closer, his steps faltered. He could see that his father was leading a yuke. 
and slung over the Yuke's saddle was a small body about the size of Klepp's. Derek heard his mother cry out behind him. Other children jostled Jer Derek as they rushed by. What's the matter? Hurry up, get out of the way. Derek swallowed hard and tried to ignore the great weight that had settled in his chest. If it was Clep, he must be brave. He must not shed a tear. He must be honored to have a hero for a brother. Then a voice called out, Derek, mother, over here. A uke broke out of the hunting party and Derek saw that its rider was Clep. Relief rushed over him as he ran to meet his brother. Clep swung himself down out of the saddle. He held up a necklace, a necklace made of claws. I made the kill, he shouted. I killed a great blue. Derek fought back a pang of jealousy. I can't believe it, he shouted, thumping Clep on the back. You, the marksman? Derek's mother came up beside them. There was joy and relief in her eyes as she hugged Klepp tightly to her. But when he held up the bloodstained necklace, she looked away. Who is the fallen one? She asked quietly. Klepp's face grew grave. It is Yorin, he said. The weight came back to Derek's chest. Yorin, Klepp's best friend? Yorin, who had been like a second brother in their house ever since Derek could remember? Yorin, who ran faster than the wind? How could it be that he, who lay so still now across that saddle? Derek's mother nodded, her face like stone. I must go to his mother, she said. And boys and girls, a uke is a white, long-haired animal that is much like a goat, only larger. I hope you enjoy chapter one of Dragonling.